Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Material Costing MCQs. These MCQs, I am trying to make a video on each of them. So therefore, you all know the logic why this answer is correct and why the wrong answers are the wrong answers. Okay, so let's do it. Which of the following is considered to be a normal loss for material? Normal loss is a loss that is expected to happen. Okay, there are two types of losses. One of them is a normal loss. Other of them is abnormal loss. Okay, the example that I give in class is something like this. Uh, you went in your examination paper. There were supposed to be 10 questions. You knew in advance I will not be able to attempt 2. So, therefore, 2 is supposed to be a normal loss. So, therefore, you should have attempted 8 questions. You saw the paper. You could only attempt 5. 3 is abnormal loss. Something that we did not know in advance. So, which of the following is considered to be normal loss of material? That is a question. Means loss that is expected to happen. Okay, so 4 options. A. Loss due to accidents. B. Pilfrage. Pilfrage means uh, theft. Okay. Small kind of theft. C. Loss due to breaking the bulk. Whenever you are breaking the cartons. Okay. Suppose like, you know, whenever you will buy from the supplier, you will be getting big, big cartons in which goods are there. You will be breaking those cartons, right? To take out the material from there. Losses might happen due to that. D. Loss due to careless handling of materials. Like goods are going from one place to another within the company. Okay. And then like, you know, some accidents happen. Somebody drops it. So therefore goods break. So out of the four, to be very honest, all four can be the answers also. But out of the four, if you have to say one as the answer, which one it should be? Think. Comment below. Okay, so I guess out of the four, answer that should be there should be C. Why I'm saying that? Loss due to accidents. Beta. When accidents will happen only, then you'll come to know. Okay, suppose the truck was carrying the goods and accident happened. This is one example of an accident. Okay, this when it will happen, you will know. No, How will come in your dreams here that one day accidents will happen? Okay, pilferage is again theft. Okay, these are abnormal things. Okay, it can be estimated also. I'm not saying... Uh, no for it, but then usually all these things are abnormal. Once they happen, then you come to be knowing of them. Okay, C, loss, sorry, C due to loss due to breaking the bulk. As I told, that should be the correct answer because uh, this is something like, you know, whenever goods are coming in big, big numbers, okay, and they are packed, whenever you will break the pack, no, some goods will usually break. And that is whatever happens if you import the goods, no, from outside, you know, in advance, like, you know, two or three percent will be the loss only. Okay, I've told the same example, I guess, in class also. Further, loss due to careless handling of material. This could be the answer also if your workers, like, you know, are slightly uh, unskilled and they don't carry the goods in a proper way. Okay, but I think C should be the correct answer. Because D will usually be applicable like, you know, when your workers are too bad. But if your workers are okay also, usually such losses should not be there. So answer should be C. Yeah, that's the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. All the best. Bye.